All right, Seth here. And uh, as some of you may know, we are getting closer and closer to having our fourth child, a girl. And we have been struggling to come up with names, but we've we've narrowed it down to five. And so these are these are our top five choices. Number one, Savannah. Savannah is uh, near and dear to my heart, especially because. Um, it's where my great 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 grandfather first settled when he came to America in Savannah, Georgia. Number two is Penelope. Penelope is named after the wife of uh, brave Ulysses whose naked ears were tortured by the sirens sweetly singing on the Seine. So that's fancy. And number three, number three was, what was it? Oh yeah, Cat Heron or Cat Hurin, one of those, Cat Hurin probably. And Cat Hurin, we like it a lot because cats are cool and herons are cool, but pronunciation of heron or hurin can be pretty dicey, especially um, even the people who live in the city of Hurin, 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 um, are in a hot debate over how it's pronounced. And that just might be too much controversy for a baby to deal with. Next is uh, Felikia. And Felikia, uh, we thought about naming her Felikia after um, the black cat from Spider-Man lore. Uh, the only problem is that she's kind of, I guess, a strumpet and she threw up on Peter Parker's groin. I don't know. It's, it's still on the table, but it's not our number one choice, honestly. And finally, uh, what we're really gunning for is Stephani. And uh, Stephani would be great because it would be Stephani Hani. And that just sounds fun. Plus, she would always know how we feel about her. Like, she's not a real daughter. She's like our stepdaughter which is awesome to like so many people they they don't really know how they fit in this world but she would know from the start and that would be just fantastic so stay tuned while we figure it out